Hey everyone, it's John at Evolve. Hey, we're here again to take a look at some of the structural differences between the Model 3 Highland and in this case, a Gen 2 Model 3, Gen 2, Gen 1, very similar, except for some cosmetic differences. So let's take a quick peek now. These are sort of mirror image here. Um, both have now been disassembled and are kind of getting ready to go through our process. So we'll take some close-ups here of a few things, but all in all, when we look at the inner structure of the vehicle, there's really not that many differences. If we look here at, at our apron and our apron panel, pretty much identical. Our shock tower and our shock tower, pretty much identical. The thermal management system and how it mounts versus the, the Gen 2 car, very, very similar. If we look closely, and we have to look pretty closely to see some of the differences, most of them are sort of from here up. So the first thing that we can see is the front fascia, the impact beam and the absorbing foam are both are different on these two models. So you can see some of the differences in the two. Also, what they call the ankle catcher is now some sort of reinforced plastic, the component below versus the original style of uh, extruded aluminum. So there's a difference here. This appears to maybe be a little shorter uh, in length than the old. The crush cans that hold that seem to be the same, but as we look at the, the uh, crush cans here and here, we can see a difference. These have bolts that come up through the bottom versus these go down through the top, and there's a funny little angle cut off right here. I believe that these are different crush cans. The radiator support panel here is different, it looks very similar, but we can see that same sort of squared off image that we see on the hood on the Highland in this component here. And the other unique thing is, and we'll get a close up of it, the washer bottle for the vehicle is now located here where it's all the way in the back on the uh, prior generation vehicle. Um, down inside the shutter assembly and the cooling components, the part number's different. It seems to be very similar. Uh, so there's, I'm sure there's some differences. I don't know exactly what they are, but visually they look to be the same. Uh, one of the most important things I've noticed here between the two, and we can see with the hood up on both of these, the original Model 3 has a problem bending right here. There's what are called collision dams built into the design of the hood. So when they're hit in, a, in the front, they'll bend in a specific place. Very often with minor impacts in the past, we have seen damage to the inside of this hood, which leaves it not fitting properly. It can be repaired. It's pretty tricky to repair. And so in a lot of cases with this hood, you wind up replacing the hood with minor damage. Here, uh, and you can see in the image, very different structure from this structure here, this sort of pentagon, that shape that you see over here versus these X's. But the difference here is that collision dam is gone. So it's reinforced. Uh, I can see some spot welds underneath. So it's going to be much stronger in the hinge area. And they've added some collision dams forward of the old location, whereas here they don't have them. So that seems to be a super smart thing. It's probably going to bring the cost of collision down substantially on these because these hoods won't fold like they used to. So. Uh, that's what we know about the Highland Model 3 structurally. It's very similar. And uh, as we go further through this process, we'll continue to update you on what we find with the uh, Model 3 Highland. But uh, so far, so good. And hey, thanks for watching. And we'll keep you updated. Any questions on anything, please, again, always leave them in the comments below. And we'll answer those on our monthly podcast. Thanks again.